Okay, ready? Oh man, that's getting hard to pull. I think we're gonna start hitting rocks. I hope not. Let's just keep going. Keep going. Oh, what up guys? Welcome back to another wonderful magnet fishing video. I'm extremely excited we're here today. Don't know if you guys know where I'm at. But check it out, a lot of you are from around here. If you know where I'm at, drop a comment down below. I'm actually about an hour away from my home. So, me and Dad, we're at a big public lake. And look at these old docks. This is why we came here, boys. Because we have like five to six old, old docks. Like I've told you before, our key to magnet fishing is to always fish the most popular oldest docks possible. The older the dock, the better the likelihood that someone drops something off the side and we're gonna find it. Everything isn't magnetic, but we have been finding some wonderful treasure here lately. Welcome all you new subscribers that are new to the channel. I welcome you all aboard. Check it out. A lot of you have been commenting, saying, hey man, you need to tape the rope up so that knot don't come undone. So that's what I did. I taped her up. So I don't have to worry about it coming undone anymore. I Oh, look at this. Dad already caught something right when I got down here. You know how he is? It's always first to the dock. That's old. That's been in there a while. Yeah. All right. We are ready to go. I'm going to start here out on the tip and work my way back, see if I can beat Dad to the punch here. <laughs> He's already ahead. Man, that water is green. Oof. So I guess they have an issue with... Dad said they're having an issue with blue-green algae here right now. I guess you're not even supposed to get in this water. Mm, looks like we got some line on there. A line and a extremely rusted away hook. If you hear gunshots, they have a gun range over here, so don't be alarmed. All right, now it feels like I got something on there. Come on. Something on the bottom, probably a rock. Nope. An old bolt and a Sam Adam, a Samuel Adams top. Sam Adams seasonal, baby. I've dragged this whole thing. See if we got something here. Mm. Oh, look at that. A battery. <laughs> a battery. That's a usual find. Bottle caps and batteries. Well, it feels like I got something on. What is it? Well, what do we got here, Dad? Look at that. Where'd you get that at? Oh god, that's a dog leash. Is there any, there's no skull. <laughs> that wouldn't be a good deal. No. That's kind of, that's kind of the creepiest thing I think I may have ever found is a dog leash. Oh, I can only imagine what might have happened there. Dad's got something. What do you got? Another catfish bill. Look at that. That is the, oh and it still works. Still works. That's like the fifth catfish bell that we found. Pretty awesome. Good find. Oh, it's a chair. <laughs> uh oh, look what Dad got. Here, I got it. Oh, good. Look at you. Old Daddy's on the juice, boys. Well, let me take it up here. Watch out. You're going to get nasty. These chairs, every time, they are nasty. And I mean nasty. Oh, man. Look at that, an old soccer chair. There we go. Anybody here that needs a chair, there you go. Brand new, beautiful, ready to go. Old buddy over here has a little duck boat. But uh, there we go, that's a, I uh, don't know what type of tab that is. Got a, got a little, what do you got, Dad? Oh, look at that. Copenhagen can. Oh. When you say doing it right. Yeah, now you know we're doing it right. Uh-oh, we have some subscribers that know me. How's it going, man? Hey. You know who I am, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I figured you had a duck boat, and I'm like, hey. I bet. How you doing? Hey, Got wet, wet hands. How you doing? Right. I'm doing good. Heck yeah. Just testing out the boat where season comes around. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We're just out here doing some magnet videos. Yeah. That's Heck awesome. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. My name's Hunter. Hunter. You from around here? Yeah, I live. Uh, I've lived about half a mile away from Cheney Lake. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, I seen the duck boat, and I'm like, uh oh, yeah. they might know me. <laughs> I was like, I was looking up at your videos and stuff. Like, that's gotta be him. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're cool. here. You guys Heck. usually come around here. And this is the first time where we've ever made it out this far away. Really? So yeah, we're just. Wow. I'm trying to find some new docks, you know. Yeah. Can I have a picture? Yeah. 
It nice has to meet you. Yeah, you too, man. Hey, Thanks for coming one? up and saying hi. No problem. Have a good one, man. You too. If you guys catch anything, you gotta cook lunch. <laughs> well, that was neat. I, right when I seen that duck boat pull up, I'm like, man, I bet they know who I am. Sure enough, here he comes. That was neat. So, I love meeting you guys. I know this is a magnet fishing video, but most of you guys know that's been subscribed to the channel for a little while here. The channel is primarily waterfowl hunting. That's what I do uh, primarily. That's that's the main content here. This is magnet fishing, is just something that I picked up this last summer, and I tried it once, and I was like. I love I love this. This is something to do during the summer when the hunting isn't here. So, uh, just like that, that's that is so cool to meet a local subscriber. He he's he said I got into duck hunting because of you on YouTube. So that uh, that really means a lot. What did you find there? What is that? I have no idea what that is. If you guys have any idea what that is, drop a comment down below and let us know. Got the old mud motor going. Look at them. They got the prop way back there. That's cool. Little thing scoots. That was extremely neat meeting a uh, local subscriber. I, I knew it right when they pulled up. I seen their duck boat with the little mud motor on it. And I'm like, looks like two youngins. I bet they know who I am. And sure enough, he came right up. He was like, Bobby, nice to meet you. So, but nice to meet you, Hunter. If you're watching this video, drop a comment down below and I will point you out and everybody can say, what's up, Hunter? But thanks for coming up. If you guys ever see me in public, come up, shake my hand. First time somebody's ever wanted a picture with my ugly face, so pretty neat. Oh, oh yes. Long, a little oldish, and we got deep water around it. We're good to go. Steel I-beams on the bottom, so cannot get these magnets stuck to those for sure. Dad got something heavy. What is, oh my Ugh. lord. Dude, Ugh. you're just hulking up like a 200 pound object. That is definitely the heaviest object we've ever pulled out. No, forget that. No, no, no. It's a cinder block with a steel pole around it. Like uh, from an old dock or something. Yeah, let's not, hey, we don't need that. No. <laughs> Too heavy. We know what's there. Wow, that's, uh, I can't believe that magnet picked that up. That's insane. Well, 836 pounds. They advertise it for it, and it's no lie, let me tell you. All right, I'm getting my magnet in here. Well, it's pretty, it ain't a bad depth. What, six foot? Seven foot, maybe? No, we got something here. We got something here. Don't think I got it. Nope. No, sir. Oh, my, yeah. It's full of metal. Look at that. Wow. Keep giving her a whirl. This this is an old dock. I I'm believing in her. I have I have faith in this dock to produce some yummy treasure. Come on, come up, baby. Come up. Ooh, what do we got here? Look at this. Look at that. It's another pet leash. It's another pet leash. Look at that. Ugh. That's two pet leashes. This is an actual collar, I think. And then we got a huge bolt. And then look at that. We got a fishing lure, baby. Fish, first fishing lure. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh yeah. And then a ton of metal like usual. Oh, I latched onto something yet again. It's a little heavier. What do we have here, boys? Oh, dad. Oh, look what I got. Come here. Oh, I dropped it. I got a mag light. Look at that. Yeah. Check that out. I told you there was a bunch of metal. Look, that is just literally a stack of washers on a bolt. Another bolt. Another bolt and a ton of metal. But there is a mag light down there and I'm going to go get it. All right, I think I got it. Yes. Oh my God, it fell again. It's, I think it's aluminum. Oh, job. Oh, look at that. Dad, we have been seriously, he's been leaning over here. I've been jigging up and down. Look, finally, yeah, it's an aluminum one. And like Dad said, Dad was like, the only thing that you're probably grabbing onto is the battery or inside of it. That's probably the only thing that's really magnetic. That's why it was so hard to get. But look at that, that's a beauty. Mag light, baby. First mag light we have ever found. That is neat. It's a big one. 
If you guys enjoyed that one, show some appreciation and drop a big old thumbs up. Dad made it happen. <laughs> well, that took about 15 straight minutes and dad pulled it up with the 800 pound. That 800 pound does just as good as that 1150. I kind of feel bad about stealing your treasure. <laughs> <laughs> something. Oh, it feels like I got something. Oh, look at that. Harper got a new fishing pole. Grab that, it's gonna fall off if you don't grab it. That's, the string's hooked to something. There we go, yeah. There we go, heck yeah. <laughs> look at that. Is it broke? Looks like it's broke. Yeah, look, they it's tried taping tape. it. Oh, that's cute. Harper Lynn little pole there. Little pink Harper Lynn pole. We'll still have to take it home to her. Well, I'm just running down along the walkway here, kind of where I found that fishing pole at. And you just have to go a little ways. You have to make yourself stop, even if you don't think you have anything. And you have to clean the metal off of it. Every time you pull this up, you go four foot, there's that much metal on it, guaranteed. No, uh -oh, what'd you get? You got something good. Like... Look at that! Old rusty, rusty pliers. Is that an old piece of rope or something? Yeah. It is, old rope. There. Oh man, there's something there. heavy right here. Oh, look at that. I got something. <laughs> oh yeah. Tree bass. Another tree there's bass there's caught in. Fish on the other side of it. Yeah. That ain't no. Look at that. That's a big tree bass. Caught some fish in line like usual. What do we got here? Look at this. <coughs> it's an old rusty piece of chrome metal of some sort. Well, we haven't caught anything here for a little bit. Well, except for that, what's there? we got there a bunch of washers. We've been finding a lot of this stuff. This is what we haven't been showing you guys. We've been catching nails. That guy, that guy was going deep sea fish and had about a two pounder on there. But we've just been finding tons of stuff like this look look at that washer washers more nails so yeah this dock is loaded with this type of stuff well we are at the next dock the last dock it really slowed down uh, we cut the fishing pole and the mag light there but uh, just really slowed down all we were catching was just we we're bunching our magnets up with all that loose metal but here we're at a new dock and check it out someone uh just left the the fishing pole here brand new pink fishing pole but here's our next dock it's small shouldn't take very long let's give her a whirl shall we well you got something on there something old look at this what is that well it looks like a screwdriver with growth around it or like something. extremely old screwdriver or something been in there long let me time. see that thing look at the hand i'm guessing that's the handle Look at that. That is old. I don't know if that's just a bunch of... Yep. Yep. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, that worked. Here we are. Dad. Uh, Dad's always the first one to the dock. He has to get the first catch all the time. Oh, look. Somebody's, somebody's been sipping that blue moon here. Come on, people. Pick up your stuff. I got something. Uh-oh. What in the heck is this? Look at this. Look at that. Oh, Tweezers. Those are nice. Look at that. Those are beautiful. That's a little Those are doctor's plier he tweezers to uh someone had them in here to get the hooks when they uh gut hook fish. Check that out. Those are nice. Those are sweet. Those are usable. Yeah, those are definitely reusable. Wow. Those are nice. Well, that was my first uh, first throw out there, and we're having luck. What you got there? Stop throwing the batteries in I the water. I know. That's literally one of the most things we find, fellas and gals, is batteries. Of course hooks, because people are going to lose hooks. But batteries. Why so many batteries? If you guys have any idea why there's so many batteries in the waters around these docks, tell me. I don't know if it's because of headlamps. What are they throwing batteries in here for, people? Oh, what do you got there, Dad? He just pulled it out of the water. That Sweet! Yeah! Two pliers in one day. That, look pliers. at that. Big old freaking treble hook that's rusted down. But look at that. Nice. Those oh. aren't too old to have the rubber on them still like They're that. They're moving pretty smoothly. Yeah, those are going to clean up. Clean up. Oh, yeah. Underneath the dock. Everything's underneath. 
Well, as you guys can tell, we are at our fifth dock right here. It's another aluminum one. The other aluminum one that we tried earlier was a no-go. We absolutely found nothing. But this one, the water looks a little deeper out here, which is good. But we have literally just been dock hopping so much today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Well, let's give her a whirl, boys. This is our fifth dock. Oh, it's real deep. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my. It's really, really deep. That's good. Deeper the better, boys. Deeper the better. I had something. I had something latched on there. All right, Dad, get over here. I got something extremely heavy, and it's coming up. I mean, it's crazy heavy. Very, very heavy. You're going to have to hit. I mean, I don't know what it is, but if we can get it to the surface, grab it before it falls off. I mean, it's heavy, 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 heavy. Oh, my goodness. It's still on there. Get ready. Get ready. What is that? <laughs> what is that? I caught a picnic table. It is a picnic table. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy Toledo. A good picnic table. Well, let's, um, okay. <laughs> here, get it up here and let me grab a hold of it. Oh, my. It's an entire picnic table. Oh, my. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, it's too heavy to bring over the side. We have to drag it. You got it? Oh, my goodness. It's heavy. Well, guys, <laughs> I don't know if we can get this in. I really don't know. Let me, um, yeah, I know. Put it on its top, just, just flip it, let go. Yeah, just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Oh boy, okay, well, we're latched onto a picnic table. Entire picnic. Wow. This 1150 pound magnet, don't mess around, boys. All right, well, I'm going to uh, try to get my rope up to the bank. I'm going to try to pull it. I don't know if I'm going to have any luck. Probably my magnet will. Oh, no, I'm dragging it. Oh, yeah, I'm dragging it. We're good. We're good. All right, I think so. This is what we got going, boys. We got both ropes. We're pretty sure we're attached to pull way up here get a lot of rope on it so you ready we're gonna start pulling at the same time see if we can get this picnic table out of here ready pull together just go steady come on yeah we're pulling it we're pulling it come on it's still moving okay stop Mine's about to let go. okay ready oh man that's getting hard to pull I, think we're gonna start hitting rock I hope not let's just keep going keep going Keep going. Keep going. There we go. Come on, baby. Get up here. Hopefully we can get it close enough that we can get it out of the water. There we go. Come on. Come on. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. There it is. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that, boys and gals. This is by far my biggest find ever oh my ready it's up on its legs yeah oh it came off all right well me and dad that's as close as we can get it because we're running into rocks sometimes you just got to buck up for the team take one for the take one for the team that's what that, that's what i'm looking for am i gonna have to get in there too it's heavy you, you want to put oh. ma you want to put the magnets around it goodness who would do that who throws picnic tables out the dock? Come on, people. Well, I guess if they want it, they'll get it the rest Ooh, of the way. Yeah. Yep. So this is as far as we can get her out here. It is that recycled plastic top. And like I said, it's extremely, extremely heavy. But I cannot believe that my magnet pulled it from there to here. That water out there is over 12 foot deep easily. But we're going to wrap it up. We have been to five docks today. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Let's see what all goodies that we found today. Like usual, a couple batteries. I do not understand why people keep throwing their batteries in the water. Another bell. I think this is like the fifth catfish bell that we found. And then check it out. I, I, 
part of a chair probably, then check it out. First, first full fishing pole that we have found. It is a kid's, but you know what? I think it'll clean up and my daughter can use it. And look at this bad boy. Seriously, the, when I seen this, it took me 15 minutes to get this in. Dad finally got it. When I seen it come up and it fell off my magnet, I was like, oh my gosh, that was a mag light. So that is awesome. These are just little surgical tweezers that doctors use. People can get their hands on them because they're, they're extremely uh, useful for removing hooks out of gut hooked fish. So pretty sweet. And then we did find a couple pair of rustic pliers and then the old picnic chair. But it was a wonderful day. I hope you guys enjoyed it yet again. Give me a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. All you new viewers here that are magnet fishing fans, I welcome you aboard to the community, the Bobby Guy Films community. I'm loving what we're doing out here. Picnic table, you know, that's as far as I could get it. I'm glad we found it. Someone literally just chucked it over the edge of that dock back there. But thank you all for watching. Thank you, Dad, for being here and helping like usual. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>